Well, if you've clicked on this video, I'm assuming you're fascinated by the chat GPTs of the world, the Google's Gemini model, as well as the open source Llama 2 models. If you're looking for a structured way of learning natural language processing in 2024, then this video is ultimately for you. In this video, I'll break down the entire steps of how you can follow and learn natural language processing and how you can keep up with the advances that are happening in this amazing field. So without wasting any further time, let's kickstart the video and discuss more about how I would have learned natural language processing if I were starting this entire process in 2024. Let's begin. Now given if I have to learn about natural language processing, the word language stands out in every natural language processing context that you can think of, right? So the first and foremost thing that you have to learn is language. So you have to learn about language fundamentals and how language operates, okay? In order to understand language, you have multiple books out there. One of the books that I can wholeheartedly recommend is the Cambridge Handbook of Linguistic Theories. This book will take you through the nitty gritties of what you require in terms of understanding language. So NLP is not just NLP where you feed in some numbers and you get a response. You have to have a clear understanding of the nuances of natural language, which is where this book would come in handy. Again, there are multiple books out there. You can refer to any book that you like. But before you start learning natural language processing, the machine learning version, you also have to have like a good idea of how language operates. What are different adjectives? What are different nouns? How do you understand them? How do you join sentences together? What are different phrases and all of that? So which is where this particular book comes in handy. So in order to create amazing natural language processing based solutions, the first thing that you have to do is learn language and how it operates. Specifically, this book is designed for English. There are other books for other languages. But your starting point for learning natural language processing should be understanding language. So this is my first recommendation in terms of how you can kickstart your journey in natural language processing. Now that you have an idea in terms of how you can start learning about language, the second piece of most important thing in the entire puzzle is to learn a good programming language. Well, there is a lot of debate in terms of which language you should learn. But I would highly recommend that you start learning Python. Python is a very beginner friendly language. So if you have very little programming experience as well, you can kickstart your journey with Python. Then you can kind of take many steps by learning NumPy, Pandas and the other libraries that are there. Once you're confident enough that you know Python decently well, then you can start learning about NLTK, the NLP library. Then you can also start learning about Spacey, and the hugging face models if you have to kind of integrate that into your end-to-end -end solutions. My second recommendation would be that you start with a good programming language that is Python. Start from the fundamentals, then go up a notch by learning about different libraries and finally learn about the cutting edge libraries such as TensorFlow, hugging face, PyTorch and the other libraries that, that will help you become better at natural language processing. So this is my second recommendation that you should definitely follow if you have to excel in the field of natural language processing. The third recommendation that I would have if you want to learn natural language processing in 2024 is that you should kickstart your journey by learning the fundamentals of machine learning and deep learning. There are multiple courses out there which teach you machine learning basics. One such course that I can recommend wholeheartedly is Andrew NG's Machine Learning Introduction. It's a free course that's available online on Coursera. I think more than million users have picked up this course and they've started learning machine learning. So that is a good starting point that you can utilize in order to kickstart your journey in this amazing world of natural language processing. With respect to deep learning, again, Andrew NG has created an amazing specialization around deep learning. So you can follow that as well. If you are more interested in something that is more say written as compared to video, then there is an amazing book by Michael Nielsen called as Neural Networks and Deep Learning. So you can definitely kickstart your journey using that book as well. That book is very well structured in terms of understanding the key fundamentals of deep learning. So these are my two recommendations which are clubbed into uh, one point. 
which is if you have to excel in the field of natural language processing, all of the natural language processing models that you can think of, which is say chat GPT uh, and say Google Bard and the other models, the fundamentals of all these models are based on machine learning and deep learning concept. So in order to excel in this amazing field of NLP, you require good hands-on knowledge of natural language processing. So which is where these recommendations would help you get started in this amazing field of natural language processing. You are now well versed with language. You have solid backbone of Python. The next thing that you've also done is you've kind of understood about machine learning and deep learning. What's next? Well, you have to understand about NLP techniques and terminologies. What is part of speech, which is POS? What is NER? How do you perform sentiment analysis? How do you perform topic modeling? All of these are small nitty gritties that you should be aware of before you start creating amazing NLP based solutions. What do I recommend here? Well, there are tons of resources that you can find, but I'll recommend a Bible to you. A Bible that every NLP practitioner kind of has gone through once in their life. The book is Speech and Language Processing by Dan Jurafsky. It's an amazing book that every practitioner has gone through and this is something that I can wholeheartedly recommend. The small integrities of how NER functions, how the entire post tagging system can be implemented, all of this is explained in a very, very systematic approach. The attention mechanism that has kind of blown up the entire NLP community, all of that has been also very well explained in the latest version of this entire book. So this is my recommendation after you've completed language fundamentals, once you're well versed with Python and once you have good understanding of machine learning and deep learning, then start by understanding small nitty gritties of natural language processing techniques and this will help you kind of progress in your journey ahead in the field of natural language processing. ChatGPT, Google Bard or any other language model that you consider 95% of the models have been created using one, one network. The network that I'm referring to is the transformer architecture. Inside the transformer architecture, you have an encoder block and you have a decoder block. In the encoder, you have different sections. You have different concepts such as positional encoding. How is that used in the entire transformer architecture? What is multi-head attention? What is self-attention? How is the entire information transferred from the encoding block to the decoding section? How is a GPT model different from a BERT model? All of these are fine details that you should be aware of if you want to excel in the field of natural language processing. There are tons of tutorials out there that you can kind of refer to. Uh, so I don't have like a preference in terms of one tutorial. I've kind of referred multiple tutorials, multiple blogs, multiple research papers in order to understand the attention mechanism and the transformer network. So my recommendation is if you ever apply for an NLP research role or an NLP application role at any company, this will be a set of questions that you will get in terms of understanding the nitty gritties of language model. Then there are also aspects of fine tuning a large language model, which is something that you should be aware of. But at the very basic, what you should be aware of is the attention mechanism, be it self-attention, multi-head attention, then what is positional encoding, what are the encoder blocks basically doing, what is the decoder doing, what is teacher forcing. There are so many terms in the entire transformer network that you should be aware of. A lot of candidates that I have interviewed so far with respect to an NLP role, a lot of them have very superficial knowledge in terms of understanding all of these building blocks which is where what I would urge you to do is I would urge you to understand the basics first and then jump to complex large language models such as Llama 2 or the others that are there. Without understanding this, you wouldn't be able to appreciate the amazing work that's been done by the community so far. So this is my recommendation. Start learning attention. So pay attention to attention to get a lot of attention from the interviewers. Now that you're well versed with the transformer architecture, you know a good amount of detail about how self-attention, multi-head attention work and all the nitty gritties that follow with say large language models. It is time for you to start picking up projects. 
a good website that you can use for your entire say nlp journey is kaggle.com so kaggle is that place where you get good readable amount of data uh, you get good amount of problem statements on that particular website and then you can start practicing your nlp knowledge on that particular data set if you are not very heavy with respect to kaggle usage then what you can do is you can start discovering places where a nlp solution can make an impact in your life try discovering features where if you have good amount of documents in your workflow if you want to create a summary of those documents can you use nlp in that particular approach if you work for an e-commerce company and if you are part of the team which is collecting good amount of reviews and ratings for your products chances are that you can use your nlp knowledge and you can derive insights in terms of what people are speaking about your products you can also filter them out based on say positive or negative reviews so there are tons of things where you can use your natural language processing skills which is where my next recommendation is start building projects based on what you've learned and that can be shown in terms of like a project that you've done either in your organization or as a part time project that you can kind of show in your resume so this is the other recommendation that i have that once you have acquired significant amount of knowledge in this particular field start utilizing your knowledge in creating end to end solutions and then that can show up in your resume as well the other point that i can club in the entire say activity of creating projects is subscribe to newsletters say today if i consider today's date that i'm recording this video the most famous open source large language model is llama 2 maybe 6 or 8 months down the line this particular model may not be beating the benchmarks there might be other better models as well which is where you have to be updated with respect to what is currently happening in the industry which is where subscribing to newsletters subscribing to authentic good newsletters is very very beneficial i have subscribed to a lot of newsletters and you too can kind of discover the newsletters that you are more inclined towards in terms of understanding the realms of how nlp is progressing and with that updated knowledge you can keep yourself updated in terms of what's actually happening in this entire space so this is my final recommendation that is start working on projects once your fundamentals are clear stay subscribed to newsletters that will kind of give you the advances of how the entire field is progressing with this approach what you would become is you would become a relevant data scientist or a machine learning engineer who is well aware of the basics plus he is also aware of how the entire advances are happening in this entire amazing field so this in totality if you are able to follow from scratch you would be really good in the job market if you are searching for a job if there are companies that are looking out for good exceptional nlp talent and if you followed these set of approaches then you are a bright candidate for getting hired in those organizations be it research based roles or be it application based roles so these were my recommendations in terms of how you can kick start your journey in natural language processing in the year 2024 i hope you found this video beneficial if you have other friends who are kind of wanting to break into this entire field of natural language processing please feel free to share this video with all of them and if you like the content that i create on my channel it would be super motivating if if you can press the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to be notified for amazing videos on data science machine learning generative ai and natural language processing thank you so much for watching this video mm -hmm.